Hi, welcome again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to place grass in open land landscape material. Here, I'm not actually going to place some grass. I'm going to place some static meshes like you can see here. Here, uh, I'm going to open my demo or example map over here. Open land maps, but you can open any map that you created with open land. So I'm going to put some uh, grass or some stuff on this uh, ground surface. And here's how to do that. I'm going to open open land grass and here we have a file called gt underscore ground so this is a landscape grass type file this is something in unreal engine i'm gonna open this and all right i have something like this then i'm gonna add some item over here so here we can put some static meshes it could be a grass or any sort of a static mesh here i'm gonna put a spear like this one and then I'm gonna set, I think this is too, I mean, it's too much. I'm gonna reduce the density to maybe 100. Also, I'm gonna reduce the maximum size to 0 0.2, like this. So this is how you actually place grass. And you can see it's, so when I move my player or the camera, uh, this grass is loading. But you can see on a place like this, uh, on the uh, slope angles uh, we don't see the grass because we are only pointing towards the uh, ground layer uh, of open land all right and this is it and of course here you can uh, place multiple static measures as well this is one for example i can duplicate this one so instead of a, st uh, a spear i can uh, put a cube like this and then here let's say you can have a different density let's say i'm gonna have 10 yeah like this also you can change all the other settings over here right now i'm gonna delete this uh, item so we can only see uh, spears on my ground right i'm gonna put it over here then we have the slope here from the slope i can put some uh, items static measures on the slope and usually you don't need to you don't need to put some uh, grass over here but you can uh, put some uh, small rocks to get some more variations in your landscape right now i'm going to put some cones over here i have a option here i i'll put some cone right and then uh, right i'm going to reduce the density to 200 like this now i have cones on the slope here i think you don't need to put uh, this amount of uh, items on the slope but you get the idea you can have multiple items and here this one thing uh, important when you are putting a uh, stop on a slope angle here we have something called uh, align to surface like you can see now these cones are aligned uh, with the normals of this uh, my landscape if i remove this icon uh, uncheck this one so it's, it's always pointing towards the, the top like this so it's always uh, pointing towards the c position on to the top but in this case uh, it's up to you uh, i think in this case it looks nice if you align it to a surface but if you're planting some trees uh, on a slope like this sometimes you do uh, this is not a good idea so this is it now we have a something called a mid layer as well so it's a uh, something between the uh, slope and the ground in this specific landscape uh, it's not that visible but if you go closer you can see there are some pebbles uh, here and there and the muddy like surface so that's the mid area you can put some items on that as well so let me put this aside so you can do that by opening the uh, gt underscore mid i'm gonna double click that one and let's put some cubes over there right i'm gonna set the density to 100 and i'm gonna search for a cube right like this and i'm gonna save this now you can see we have some cubes on there just like this all right you can see over here uh right that's the mid area uh here uh, with open land you can actually uh, increase the size of this mid layer so how much uh, area that you want mid and here's how to do that landscape landscape material this is the material instance of open land and then uh here we have the auto blend prop for us so this is our main uh auto material or auto biome so i can have some option these first three options so here if i uh, reduce this uh, slope bias so let's say put some zero minus two so you can see a lot of places in my landscape is going to be ground layer so you can see uh, it uh, goes with the grass as well now it will put the spears all over the place so basically it goes with this layer 
So I'm going to put this to default. And here if I put something around uh, minus 9, you can see a lot of places uh, looks uh, like a slope area. You get the idea. Then you can have some uh, value in between. 7 is the uh, good uh, default for a, for a landscape. And here we have uh, some sharpness as well. You can control this little bit further. And here, this is an important slider, um, mid-range. Right now, it's 0 0.2. If I put 1, there will be a lot of uh, cubes over here because we have more uh, mid uh, textures you can see over here, like this, like this. Then if I put 0, so there's a sharp uh, edge between the, the ground and the slope layer. If I put 1, so there's a mid layer in between. We have quite a lot of uh, mid layer. So again, uh, the grass uh, boxes follow through along that. I think 0.2 is a good default. Right, this is about the default uh, grass placement for the auto main auto material. Then if you paint a layer like this, for example, I'm going to save this. Then I'm going to open my landscape mode. Go to paint layer. I'm going to paint some uh, sand over here like this. I'm going to select uh, layer info. And then I'm gonna reduce the okay. I have to like select this. I'm gonna reduce the brush size, something smaller. Then I can paint some of some sand like this. Then it automatically uh, remove the grass under underline this uh, paint layer, and that's the default behavior of uh, our landscape material. But if you want to have grass along with this material, try to paint with the, the alpha layers like this then if you uh, set a layer info and paint is uh, maybe somewhere over here right then if you paint the sand as usually but the good grass is always over here and that's the uh, main difference between the alpha layers and like, normal layers but but there are some other differentiation uh, check the open lines documentation for those things but from the perspective of grass and this is the main main difference so I'm going to save this. Then if you uh, want to uh, place some grass uh, on sand area, right now you don't have a, a built-in options over here. So in, the, in that case, you need to paint manually or you can customize your master material to paint some uh, items specifically uh, for this, uh, this sand layer. I'm going to show you that in a moment. Right, now this is the main biome. So um, let me go to the uh, end of this landscape. So now we have a different biome on this area. We call it the beach biome. So check the open land documentation more about biomes. You can have a lot of biomes in your project, but we ship with two biomes, one for the beach like this. And then you can see here we have uh, some uh, this ground foliage that's PSB put. But if we go over here, it start getting reduced. Here we can see some uh, uh, space as well because there's a blending range, a blending region, that's why. Then if you go over here and you don't see uh, uh, these spheres and here we have something called beach ground. I'm going to open this and then I can add some, let's say, let's put some cylinders. Cylinder. Right. Uh, this is too much. I'm going to set the density to 100. Right. Now we can see we have some cylinders over here as well. So that's, that's how you put grass on the different biome, actually the our beach biome. Right, now we have painted some sand over this area. Uh, let's say you want to have some automatic grass placement on this sand area. And here's how to do that. But well, we don't have an option for that one, but it's quite easy to add. I'm going to save this. I'm going to open the my uh, landscape material over here. It's the uh, material instance. And then you can open the master material over here. And it's not recommend to actually edit the, the main master material M underscore open land. Uh, that's because if you do that, it will be really helpful to get up, updates from open land uh, because we're gonna ship updates quite often, like a couple of times a month. So it's a good idea to uh, uh, change this to uh, our modular development setup and check the documentation for modular development. You can easily convert to a custom material, then you can add more your content over there and it, it still you can get updates from us. So that's the best way to do this. Okay, let's try to learn about our grass placement. Here we have uh, something called uh, grass management over here. It's quite simple. So this is the grass uh, output knot in uh, Unreal Engine. So we're gonna use that. If you open this one, you can have multiple item, item slots. So you can give it a name. It doesn't matter, it's just a name. And then uh, you can assign a gra landscape grass type file. And this is the important thing. If I open this file over here, 
and this is the file that we added uh, on the GT ground so it's the same file so here we map this ground into this one so then uh, how do we uh, tell the grand landscape grass type file uh, this this not to actually place grass and that's using this mask so basically it's a zero to one uh, value range of value you need to put and uh, by depend on that uh, you can uh, place grass if you put one you have the a lot of grass and full density but if you put zero there, there won't be any grass but if you put a value in between the be grass based on that now we are trying to add some uh, grass for our sand area and here's how to do that i'm going to select this i'm going to create a new item that's the now ninth item in our list i'm going to say this is sand right right now i need to select a grass type file because we don't have any uh, file because we have already assigned them here so it's pretty easy to create you can uh, select this landscape gra grass type uh, text and then you will uh, ask to save it to a place and right now i'm gonna Put it to a outspold outside let's say here i'm gonna put grass on my content directory and it's, it's always a good idea to put this outside of the open land directory and i'm gonna see this my uh, sand grass like this i'm gonna save it okay now we have sand grass over here now we need to have a, uh, some sort of mask over here so for the uh, sand layer and it's pretty simple i'm gonna right click and go landscape layer sampling so here we have something not called landscape layer sample node get that so here uh, we're gonna select sand so here this is the name this name that you need to provide here our layer name so you can see over here here we have the name sand you can put there so basically what this node does actually it will uh, try to see for each and every pixel it will say so the in this uh, set of pixel uh, you have the uh, this sand layer uh, 0 to 1 uh, value range between 0 to 1 so it's just a mask so I'm gonna put that into my sand layer like this and, uh, and then I'm gonna save this and it will take some time to like save and uh, start to compilation all right now it's compiled so I can simply open my file grass type file the new file that I created on here then I can open this landscape grass type the sand grass file and then I can put anything uh, I like uh, let's uh, find some static mesh over here I'm gonna set the density to like some smaller value like 100 and let's put let's find some uh, item so we have this editor help uh, static mesh right I'm gonna save this so basically now you can see we have this editor mesh static mesh uh, static mesh on this place so if I paint more sand area over here so then I have more items of this editor help static mesh so this is it so if you want to like add uh, grass or some sort of static mesh to individual paint layers and this is the way you have to do all right now i'm going to show you something quite a bit advanced but it's also pretty easy uh, if we go to my beach area so end up my landscape all right now we have stuff uh, on this ground layer over here we have cylinders but if we go to this place we don't see anything on my slope area so that's because uh, this is coming from the uh, beach biome again check the, our documentation for bi biome but we don't see anything over here but it's quite easy to add some uh, items over here it's a little bit complex on the material side but it's not that hard so again i'm going to open my material here again i'm going to add a new item into my uh, landscape grass output node i'm going to give it a name like beach slope then i'm going to create a new grass type file here i'm going to say give it a name like okay uh, beach slope right then i need to ha i need to have some sort of like item over here so that's why we have this enable uh, grass node it is quite important that if you are using this for a auto uh, layers auto uh, layer so because we here this is a automatically generate slow uh, layer slope layer so it, in this case it's really important to use this node uh, because we do some housekeeping over here uh, right now let me uh, clean this up gives get some more info more space so then i'm going to copy one of these not right first we need a mask and this is a height mask which is will be useful uh, later on but i'm not, not going to use it right now and then we need a layer all right and here i'm going to select this to my beach slope okay and then i need to input a mask so again this is the one uh, and here we have a layer so right now if this auto layer uh, like this one sample we need to sample it right now for the beach biome we have sampled it like this auto beach and auto beach alpha so this is our layer i'm going to put this as a layer so if you didn't put this onto this grass section it will 
think uh, this is a default uh, biome right then we need a mask this mask is the mask for the slope and we have already calculated that over here on this beach biome b so we have biome a and b so this is a beach biome and here we have this slope mask i'm gonna drag this and locate my this new node and it's quite hard like you need to go long way like this and then you need to connect it like this all right so you can do some cleanup over here like this and it's kind of mess right now but that's how that's what it is uh, but in Unreal Engine 4.27 and Unreal Engine 5 preview uh, we have a, a different way to access that so basically you can use the named output nodes to easily uh, remove this wire so you can output this as a named output and you can uh, you can access it from here and if you want to know about this uh, check the description below so then you can get rid of a lot of these so wires and get things are uh, quite clean all right uh, now we have this thing it's quite ready and i'm gonna save this again it will take some time to save and compile stuff so it will be really good idea to combine a lot of changes that you do and do this uh, hit the uh, save uh, button so it will save you time all right now this looks completed now i can open this uh, beach slope class type file then i can add some item over here uh, let's uh, set the density to 100 and let's put some item over here mm, i'm gonna select this like something strange okay i think it's quite hard to see i'm gonna yeah okay like this so we're gonna play some cameras over here it's quite weird but you get the idea so you can uh, put some static meshes all like this so you can see it's only available on this part of the uh, beach side uh, if you go to the other side so you can see because I already painted using that but if you go for some more place over there we don't see it because it's it's not part of the beach over biome uh, let's say I don't want to have a, a beach biome over here it's quite easy all you have to do uh, go open your paint layer so we already have that out of forest and I'm gonna paint this area with out of forest and uh, like this and you can see we don't have the, the speech biome so it's, it's based on the layer painting for sure and auto layer right and now we have a proper understanding of our grass placement node and one of the things that we haven't uh, talked about is the hide mask so basically you can put a different mask to hide grass so it's basically uh, like it's a very simple thing and if this hide mask is one we don't place grass and this is important if you're using a smart mask if you don't know about the smart mask uh, check the open land docs for about smart mask so it's a very interesting way to like uh, create a dynamic mask and put a lot of things uh, so here if you put a smart mask and then we don't uh, place grass on on that uh, so existing existing glass uh, so we do that for the ground mid and slow players but if you're not using there is no need to use that uh, if you use that and get this some value so we combine all smart mask and you can put that as hide mask or any other mask in your in your project right again sometimes uh, this you don't like the functionality of this enable grass not oh just open it and it's very simple logic and go through that it's not that hard and uh, simply duplicate this uh, node not this one and duplicate the content of that and create another node and use that and then use that to access uh, add your own logic i hope uh, with this one uh, you have uh, some uh, better idea of how to place grass in uh, open land see you soon with something interesting bye